Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review for you the Tinted Face Oil from Kosas. Kosas. I don't know. Doesn't this look like it comes from Ikea? Yeah, I don't know the... Um, it has French writing, but I have this like feeling it's got some kind of Scandinavian thing. What does it say on the Sephora about? Let us look. About the brand. It doesn't give you like um, the brand about page that I can find. Anyhow, um, so this comes in 10 shades that are compatible for 30 skin tones. That is the claim. And because it's a tinted oil, it is, you know, like a tinted moisturizer, right? And it, um, I just, you know, I'm like, I have dry skin and I feel like as much as we like full coverage and matte and all this good stuff, honestly having something with a little bit more, a little bit sheer, not a lot, but something that helps hide the flaws but also gives the skin dimension and you know when we need vitality as we get older and drier. And so that's kind of what I'm hoping this does. I played with it a little bit and I will apply it with my fingers because I think that is the key to getting it to work. It's just like the ordinary serum foundation where it didn't work when we were going with sponges and brushes and we were like, why does this not work? And then it was like, oh yeah, fingers. So warming the product into the skin. Okay, it's $42. It's definitely like the high end. Well, I mean, there's $60 foundation out there, but there's a $100 foundation out there. But, uh, but yeah, this is, you know, I'm usually in Sephora, when I do a Sephora foundation, like Wander Beauty, Laura Mercier, like all of those that I really like that are high end, always seem to hit the $40 mark. Um, so let's try shade, I think that I got tone three, zero three, and it was because, um, it said fair with neutral. Why did I get tone three? Light with neutral undertones. So there's like fair, light, medium, dark, and sometimes I do light, sometimes I do fair. We'll see. It's got it's got four out of five stars on Sephora, and it does have the clean Sephora label uh, that comes like ooh, it's certified green, which. Yeah, there's a lot of products that are completely good, completely clean at Sephora that don't necessarily have that little green stamp. So just so you know, we can talk about that later. So sensitive skin owners, <laughs> owners, here you go. There is no fragrance. There's no alcohol. It is oil. It is oil. It's jojoba. It's avocado. It's rice bran extract. It's tea, meadow foam seed. Like, wow, there's a lot. Now, you see rosemary on here and you think, ah, crap, that's what I thought, right? Because rosemary oil, no good. But rosemary leaf extract is good. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, there's also some silica and kaolin. Silica is natural, it comes from rock, right? Rock, yeah, anyway. Uh, you know, we're thinking silicones, oh my God, we're putting plastic on our face. No, you're not. You're putting in little spheres that capture hydration. Um, I am going to put the Cover Effects Gripping Primer on one side of my face. Yes, indeed, boys and girls, because um, I want to. Um, I'm like, I'm going to do one side without primer and one side with um, this primer in particular because I want to know how it responds to this oil foundation. And um, I've played with this gripping primer with just what was the other hmm. oh wander beauty and it was good um you know so it's a good primer and i'm still playing with it because i'm kind of like i'm gonna see if this is the primer right okay so it's got a tacky i don't know if you guys saw this but this was in my bye bye no bye video where i was like <laughs> forget the no buying okay okay it is runny <laughs> It is oily, <laughs> very much. Yes, yes, we have oil. <laughs> mm -hmm. This might be, is this more of a summer shade? 
Uh, no, actually, I think it's pretty good because I thought, you know what? I want to look. I don't want to look so ghostly. See, it kind of has that warmth. Helps with the rosacea. It's really, it's really sheer. I don't know. I mean, that's really sheer, right? Uh, and there's a, I'm, I'm planning on this being a buildable foundation. That is definitely what I'm hoping for. Aha, we have little dots. It's, it's sinking into the pores on my forehead. Why are you doing that? But not here. Did I, I put primer right here, didn't I? Weird. Uh, different plate parts of my face have different texture. That's just the way it goes, America. Um, okay, now this side, no primer. You know, this side just might do better without primer because with it being an oil, I have this feeling that it wants to kind of like soak into the skin versus sit on top of the skin because primers kind of do that. You know, they kind of give a layer. Um, we'll see. I'm going to zoom you in. I kind of like it without the primer. And oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, you could stick one of those booster, well, everybody wears sunscreen, okay? Just wear your sunscreen. But um, you could put one of those SPF boosters in this, and what a great summer face tint, no makeup makeup, right? Right? I can't get over the oil, how it's, it literally is oil. You know what's funny is like we've been I feel like lately my foundations for foundation feature have been so chalky and even the ones I like are so matte um, and this is just such a 180 from any of that. I was going to use the e.l.f. Um, <laughs> camo concealer and I'm wondering if it's like too much concealer. Actually, that might be too dark, I mean, too light. This is kind of a foundation featured because this is a foundation product and I'm giving you guys a review, but I'm sort of fudging it to suit me in not the usual foundation featured formula because I dabbled with this. So it's not like a, it's not a first impression. And, um, my day's a little nuts, so I don't really have the chance to kind of wear it all day and give you guys a check-in later. But I will definitely give you an update. I am going to do just a light dusting of the By Terry powder. Just dusting off the excess. Okay. Like, I don't look old and creepy, right? There's a little bit of dot action, but it's kind of blended in. It's a little, I don't know why my forehead is having issue. My forehead has a little bit of some creasing and dot action, but not the rest of my face. I guess we're ahead. Okay guys, I'll see you in a little bit with full makeup on and I'll let you know how it behaved. Oh, behave. Okay, I am back. I have makeup on entirely, <laughs> completely. I have mascara, I have lipstick. And actually, I'm wearing Wet n' Wild liquid cat suit in, what was it called? Chic Got Real. Yeah. And I'm wearing my Wander Beauty Mile High mascara. I love it. Let's talk about the foundation or tinted oil as it's called because this is kind of neat. I like it, you guys. I like it. Do I look radiant? I look radiant. I just feel like it looks good. Like, I'm not sure how long it's going to last. I don't know if in a few hours I'm just going to look haggard and pasty, but I don't think so. I think the idea is that this oil, it's on the skin, the pigment isn't going anywhere. And um, clearly I'm wearing blush, bronzer, highlighter, and that stuff, but honestly my highlighter isn't that much. And 
I'm wearing um, e.l.f. setting spray and I think it did add an illumination aspect to it, which I'm loving. Um, but I don't feel like I'm just completely shiny and I didn't add a whole bunch of shine. So I really do think that it's the oil coming through and it's just kind of giving a nice healthy glow to my skin. Yeah. So we'll see if this is worth the price. Maybe just, you know, stick with your ordinary if that's what you like. I, I don't know, but I'm, I am enjoying this product for what it is. And remember it's sheer, it's buildable, work with it, and it's gonna give us some good skin benefits, I hope. Why? So the e.l.f. mess, or excuse me. So the e.l.f. concealer is pretty darn good. I can't tell you if it's like the winner of all concealers. I feel like lately I've just had, yeah, I feel like there's just not much that can help this makeup wise. Like we might need some surgical intervention. Join me on the next episode of Botched beauty influencer and makeup over 40 YouTuber Rebecca <laughs> shares her math. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Uh, if a needle can't do it, a knife ain't gonna. Yeah. 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 We're not cutting. We might, we might inject, but we are not cutting. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will leave the links below. I will give some editor notes to tell you how the hours went in terms of, you know, but I think this is a winner. I really do. And uh, especially if you're dry, especially if you don't want much um, coverage, you know, I mean, you just want really something good on your skin. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, if you need coverage, this is not for you. And if you're, I think even if you're oily, you could use this foundation because I don't feel like it's got an oilness to it. It doesn't feel that like, oh my gosh, it's slippery. You know, it's, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for watching and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you if you have and give that thumbs up a click and I'll see you next time. Bye.